Hi, I'm David, and this is my attempt to send a radio controlled airplane into the edge of space using a weather balloon and then pilot it down using a live video feed. This is the airplane I'm using. It's a multiplex fun jet equipped with the GoPro 2. Time for the launch. The balloon is estimated to travel 70 kilometers before bursting at a height of 33,000 meters. Straight after the launch, me and my friend jump into the car and try and follow the path of the balloon. I'm sitting in the passenger seat while my friend is driving. I'm aiming the directional antenna at the balloon at all times, watching the live video feed. To control the plane I'm using the Open LRS from Flytron, connected to a Yagi antenna and the booster, I'm running at around 2 watts and that gives me plenty of range for this base mission. For the video link I'm running a 1.2 GHz 1 watt transmitter, together with the old man mic optimized pinwheel antenna. And on the ground I'm using the very high gain Gatling antenna. The balloon has now reached a height of around 10,000 meters. I still have a solid video link and everything still looks really good. The balloon has now reached 30,000 meters. While at the ground, I'm having real troubles with the ground station. A cable is broken and I lost all video contact with the plane. The balloon has been rising for 66 minutes and it can't be more than a couple of minutes away from bursting. The balloon finally burst at 33,103 meters above ground level. Now I'm in trouble. I was supposed to release the plane from the balloon before it burst. Now there's a big chance of the plane getting tangled in the balloon, which would not be good. The plane has been free falling for 4 minutes and I finally got the video link back. It's just on the edge of the reception, so the picture is not that great. But I can make out that the plane is falling. So I quickly hit the release button to release the balloon from the plane before it can do any damage. This is where my luck totally runs out. The balloon actually snags the antenna on the bottom of the plane and rips out two of the lobes, leaving me with about a quarter of the range. All I can do now is just wait and hope that the plane will re-enter the zone of my reception again. 20 minutes later, as I'm about to give up, I see a flicker of an image on my screen again. The image is so faint that I'm having trouble making out what is what at this point. I'm starting to pilot the plane as best as I can, and I think I can see a sun. The image starts getting clearer, and decide to turn around to see if I can figure out where I am. This is when I panic a bit. I'm on the wrong side of the lake, about 30 kilometers east of where I should be. There is no chance of gliding the plane over the lake as there is a strong headwind. Instead, I turn around and I glide for as long as I can just to enjoy the scenery. About 10 minutes of gliding later, I'm getting ready to penetrate the clouds. I still have a video link, although it's very faint.
The image is in black and white now, and I can make out the road, but not the houses. So I try to land as close as possible to the road, so I have a bigger chance of finding it later. Unfortunately, I didn't make my